Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now joined by a man that I would say we all met a few years ago. Dicko, how are you, buddy? Yeah, good to see you. You seem to be the first real person that had the balls to talk what he was thinking. You, you helped Australian Idol become the show it was. Well, it was important for us to, uh, to get the right artists into the record company. Remember, I wasn't on the show just to be a, a TV personality. I was general manager of BMG Records, and we had the rights to the winner and the top final 12. So I was desperate not to take an idiot in uh, as our artist because um, we were looking to make some big, big money out of it. So I didn't know what to expect. We'd just moved to Australia and Simon, I used to work with Simon Cowell in London. Simon said to me, you really should do this show in Australia. But I just kind of settled the kids in and I thought it might be a bit of disruption. But in the end, um, I think uh, my ego wanted it. Everyone who tells you that they don't like being famous is a liar. Because it is awesome when, pe when you walk into a room and people nudge and point at you and they know who you are. And it's like a drug being famous. It's probably fair to say out of all of the judges, out of all the people that were on the show, you were Australia's favourite. Everyone clicked with eventually, you. Eventually. Ev eventually I think, clicked I think with it's, you. Know, I've, I've had a, a fair few run-ins with uh, people in pubs <laughs> and in the street. I've had people refuse to serve me in news really? agents because of what I'd said wow. to people. Um, now getting on to the pointy end of my show, this is where we get to the hard questions. You sound a fast five. This is where I get to put you on the hot seat. Are you okay. ready? Okay. First car you ever owned? First car I ever owned was a, a Renault 19. Okay. Part B of the question. I don't know when we ask this, but you coming to Australia, first Australian car you owned? Well, that would be for my wife, and that was a Toyota Corolla. There you go. It was really, really good. Uh, it did the job. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made? I, I don't understand the Porsche Carrera. The, no, I mean the no the Porsche Cayenne. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't understand the Porsche thank Cayenne. Thank you. I think if you're going to drive a Porsche, thank drive you. a sporty sports car. What you, is your opinion of the best car ever made? Uh, for me, my object of desire, and I'm not mad on sports cars, my absolute object of desire is an Aston Martin. Because Simon Carl drives those. Oh, OK. And uh, every now and then, he'd let me sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> he'd take me for a drive in it, so... And, and they you want just, it. No, they're just beautiful British cars. Well, what do you drive today? I've actually... I'm driving the same Toyota Prado that I've had for 11 years. My wife has been trying to get me to sell my Prado for ages, but I can't bring myself to. Yeah, okay. It's a dirty, smelly old thing, but I just love it. And every time we go up the beach, it's just a perfect car. And it, do you know what? It's never once broken down on me. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not having at least five belly laughs a day. Really? Yeah, if I can't laugh, I can't live. Wow. Last thing, just quickly, what entertains you today and, and pays the bills? I do breakfast radio uh, for 2UE yep. in Sydney, so I get up at quarter to three every morning. That's your punishment. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, it is a punish. And I have the bedtime of a seven-year-old child, <laughs> which is uh, not great for your social life. But it is a privilege waking up a major city like uh, Sydney and being the first person to give them the, the news of the day. So I've had 12 glorious years here. And um, every now and then, I just think I'm going to wake up and the dream will be over. But while it continues, I'm enormously grateful for what Australia has given me. Keep being you because you're a great bloke. You're an awesome bloke. Thanks for coming on the show. Cheers.